Hello everybody, it's the Historical Gamer once again, and today we are returning to Ultimate Admiral Dreadnoughts, a new strategy and war game out by Game Labs, available on Steam. This is episode number 15 in our Let's Play series playing as Spain, so, or actually is it episode number 16? I think it's episode number 16 of our Let's Play series playing as Spain, and uh, you know, this is 16 episodes in, so if you're following you probably know what's what. Basically, it's a naval war game where you design warships and fight them. Uh, we're in the midst of a war with the U.S. The war is going well. We are pursuing a broken enemy fleet after a previous fleet battle in our previous episodes, and we'll see if we can finish them off in this episode. Uh, that's all I really have to say. It, this was taken from a live stream from my Twitch channel, so if you want to follow me down there, there's a link in the description. But let's go ahead and jump right back into this uh, as we start this new battle. Prepare for battle! Four armor, heavy armored cruisers and two lights versus three and three. Got two set to scout. One set to follow. Just how about you all follow? Let's just form one big battle line, huh? We can bring the cruisers up for torpedoes when we need to. I think our ships in general are in okay shape. San Cristobal's at 85 structure and 100 float, 99 and 100 for the Senora. The Esteban 66, 100. She's actually not in great shape. Santa Cruz 78, 100. Yeah. And the light cruisers are also not in great shape. So who knows? I think they might actually be in better shape than we are because I think we sank all of their badly battered ships, but we shall see. Let's get moving, boys. Close the distance. Drop, let go the mainsails. All right, let's slow the formation down a bit because that makes you more accurate with gunnery. Anyone know, could you keep playing for your nation after a revolution? I do not know the answer to that. Wow, we got a hit at a decent range there. Partial pen. What are we going up against? Those are their armored cruisers just leading their line. Their light cruisers are off on the right. So we're going to turn into them. Because the CLs are over to the right. That's the torpedo threat. So let's turn our formation into that. We're going to play this battle a little bit accelerated in terms of speed. Looks like they're armored cruisers. Well, the Chicago, I forgot about her. We almost sank her and didn't. And the Scranton, we also badly damaged. So their ships are actually not in great shape. At least some of them aren't. Their light cruisers are probably doing better. Their speeds are faster than ours? Interesting. Okay. So if they want to escape, they can. Although I don't know what their speed is with the damage they've taken, especially with the Chicago's structure at 14. I wonder if everybody comes into a battle without any float damage, and if the game just translates float into structure. Over pen and flooding. Chicago probably won't take much damage, I don't think. There's the CLs back here. They're going to charge into our column, probably. You can see Chicago already slowing by the looks of it in the middle of their column. She's got flooding in four compartments just off one shell hit. It was an eight inch shell to be fair. She's also a fire. Partial pen and a fire. I think most of my armored cruisers are going to get the turn done before the CLs come up. So it'll be our CLs versus theirs as they come up. Another nice hit there with flooding on the Chicago, and I think she's done. There goes the Chicago. Yeah, I kind of think this is actually the better strategy, Hauser, is waiting for the enemy. Why he's still in battle again? Oh, this is a... So, SEO, this is actually a 
pursuit or a straggler battle. So the, the game after major fleet actions will sometimes trigger a straggler battle, which is a battle that is made up of the contestants from the previous fight that are coming into the fight damaged. So basically the idea is like you pursued them after the fight and, and engaged them damaged, you know. AI does repair, but for these particular fights, that's that's why. All right, so we damage the San Diego. She's pulling out of line and pulling back and exposing the Scranton, which is actually still in worse shape. We're going to try and cross the Scranton's T. Meanwhile, our light cruisers are coming in. We are moving very slow. Those light cruisers are moving at 16 knots. Should make these uh, enemy light cruisers sitting ducks as they come up. A nice penetration there. Damage. The whole bottom came out of the... Oh, fuck, 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 fuck. The bottom came out of the buffalo, but she fired a... A desperation torpedo shot right as she died. That reminds me of there's a uh, Cold War submarine movie where, like, the Russian sub fires a torpedo right as she dies, and then it starts a world war. Although it looks like she detonated prematurely, so... And of course, that emergency torpedo thing threw my entire formation into chaos. My gunnery, my gunnery is awesome. I guess it's better than theirs, but also keep in mind, part of the reason our gunnery is, is doing better is because we've deliberately slowed our task force down. So gunnery does, like when you are moving at top speed, gunnery is not effective. But if you slow down, you get much more accurate. At least to a point. I think I saw Bismarck playing the other day, uh, and he was just, his ships were just sitting, doing nothing, which I think is unrealistic. Like, if you're just rolling in the waves, you're not going to be terribly accurate either. Oh, San Cristobal just took a big hit. The bottom just came out of her. Oh, boy. She might survive. She's at 8%. Oh, that's what happens when a big shell like that hits the bottom of these cruisers in this era. Another hit that might do her in. Scranton's done, though. I think they're running. I don't see where their CL CLs are anymore. Was it the front? No, it was the rear. It was the rear of the San Cristobal that got hit. She might survive if she doesn't collide with the wreck. Nope. Probably not if the uh, San Diego lands more hits like that on her. Structure damage? She's basically scrap metal. Look at that. But San Diego's toast, too, so. There's at least that. It's fortunate for us the AA doesn't seem to want to throw torpedoes on their CAs. Mission accomplished. Yeah, let's end the battle before we lose anything. So the San Cristobal was badly damaged. The San Esteban and Infanta Isabel were both badly, were both damaged moderately. But the enemy lost three armored cruisers, one light cruiser, and then the San Saint Lo Salt Lake City is badly damaged. So 4,300 victory points to 160. Another victory for yours truly, the great fleet of the Spanish Navy. We cannot be beaten. Guy's rankings look like Confederate stars on his on his collar. Okay, another victory. The US also loses four transports in the Caribbean Sea region. Mexico and Russia are allied. Okay.
Italy's provoking us. Would you really, you think that's a good idea? Also, I don't know what these land troop casualties mean. Army losses from special army operations. What is this, Ukraine? Um, okay, so who's the most powerful nation in game right now? Who is it? So the the British have the largest fleet, I think, of 100. No, Japan has more ships. How stupid is that? I'm sorry, but they should not have more ships. I guess they lean more into torpedo boats, but the British have the most battleships at 18. Japan has 14 somehow. British have 31 CAs and 45 CLs. Japan has 58 CLs. I guess I would say the British Empire is the strongest nation in the world right now, although China also has 14 battleships. Lol de lol lol lol. China in 1896 has 14 battleships. 27 armored cruisers, 27 light cruisers. Lol de lol lol lol. The French have 101 ships, but only four of them are battleships. They've gone hard in the Jean Echo, or however you pronounce that, uh, school of, of navies. The Italians don't have a single battleship. They've got 21 armored cruisers, though. The Italians sure seem to be the weakest. Japan's minor ally is Romania. Yeah, the whole alliance system in this game is really bizarre. Like, America's allied to Canada, but Great Britain didn't. They're allied to Egypt and Syria and Denmark. I don't know. Mm. So, why does the Russian Empire only have three torpedo or three battleships? Because the Russian Empire is silly. I don't know. What else? Do, what do you want me to say? What am I supposed to say to that? I don't know. All right. So, we got another battle here an American armored cruiser versus a Spanish light cruiser off the east coast of the U.S. Uh, what's uh, the situation here? Americans have 33 CAs, huh? Still, despite all these casualties. All right, let's 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 do this. Cologne versus Oakland. Battle. Fight! Uh, north. The Cologne is not damaged. She's in good shape. Um, she appears to be... I think this is the Isle de Tortuga class. Where does it tell me? I don't even know. I hear splashes. All right, turn into this bastard. With as bad as the American ships are with damage control, we might have a chance against an armored cruiser. I like how it's like, oh, you don't know what it is, but actually it already told you at the start of the battle, so... Oh god. He's shredding me. Oh, he has torpedoes. This is a different class of American armored cruisers. It's gone a lot. Oh no. Oh no. Well, we're dying. That's for sure. Charge! Oh my god. Look at this thing. Ah! Ha! Ah, ah, ha! Ah. Ha! So this kind of stunned me. They got 6.2 inches in torpedoes on both sides. We did put some pretty bad fires on her, but... <laughs> We're gonna go down. We're going down, down. Nah, 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 nah. No, so my experience with the CLs, what we have fought so far for the Americans, they've just gotten rocked, but this seems like a better, or at least a more balanced class. They still got those goofy-ass short barrel guns, but they don't have the 8 inches, so they reload more quickly. 22 knots, so she's fast. Are we not shooting at all? 
I think everybody's dead. I'm pretty sure everybody's dead on this ship. Yeah, well, that was that. That was a. I know I, I fought stupidly on fast speed, but that was a battle. <laughs> Defeat. Oh, well. That better not lift the blockade. Clown car if it does. You'd think after that last major battle, the Amer the Americans would have been like, hey, can we have peace again? But maybe there's a, a timeout or a delay between peace attempts. Building new ships. The game doesn't do a good job of one, telling you casualties in the war so far. Like, there should be a casualty screen. Or two telling you like when the war started as far as I can tell it doesn't actually keep track of that at least not in a place where it shows you that's what I call a Norfolk alley ass whooping I don't know what you call that but okay we are winning the United States government desperately asks us to sign up accept a peace treaty not until we take San Juan our task force is under major enemy attack. I don't know. Withdraw. Fail. Oh, no. Auto resolve. I don't want to fight that. Hey, we escaped without having our ship sunk. The U.S. loses eight transports in the Caribbean Sea. And again, I don't know what these casualty numbers at Puerto Rico mean because it doesn't give me any context to anything. Like, how do the... Why doesn't the game give you any information on some of this shit? It's like, we're going to show you it's a naval invasion, but we're, we're going to show you the detailed casualties of the naval invasion. We're not going to tell you how many men they have and how many you have. Oh, okay. All right, shipbuilding is 10,000 tons free, so I think some of the ships that we were repairing maybe completed... Commissioning a bunch of ships. Actually, no, there's some light cruisers coming online. Who's damaged? Who needs to go to port? Unless they automatically did. Nope. You guys are still at sea. So the Santa Teresa. Santa Teresa, San Cristobal. Like a bunch of these ships all need to be freaking repaired. Well, San Cristobal's already repairing, but why doesn't it just automatically send them to freaking Oh, no. God damn it. Now it's going to show me the class. Okay, game. Got to go manually move my ships around. So they're probably the ships off the East Coast because that's where we had the battle. Not that one, though. Not that task force. All right. Ah. Does it show me if they're damaged here? Anywhere? We got to go in and, like, check... All right, so what ships do we want to send? The San Cristobal, the Infanta Isabel, and the Navas de Tolosa. Remember that. San Cristobal, Navas de Tolosa. I think it was the Infanta Isabel. Meanwhile, we have the battleship Concepcion, and these guys are still repairing here. Okay. 
Okay. Well, it just kind of permanently weakens my, uh, my East Coast blockade for now, I guess. I could send this task force up, but it might lower my... My invasion is 69,000 tons associated with it. If I move these guys off the U.S. East Coast... How much tonnage does that remove? Let's just keep them there for now, I guess. We've only got to hold the invasion for one or two more turns. I think. That power projection is plummeting for us. I don't know how in the world... Although it just updated again and has us way ahead. So I was going to say, I don't know how in the world the blockade continues. Negotiations fail. New torpedo technology. We failed in our invasion. Well, what was the point of that? That's annoying. Doesn't give us a reason. Doesn't give us the number of troops. Aww. Well, I guess we'll maybe try and go for peace then, right? Like, what? what's the point? Oh, for sure. SEO. Spain is way OP. Libya is launching a revolution. Our blockade's power projection is dwarfing theirs. Uh, what are we at? Their battle fleet is at nine battleships still. They haven't completed any new ones. We are still building 14 ships. But it looks like a lot of our, some of our ships have started coming off the ways. So let's get the suspended ships back underway. I can't force the peace treaty. I've got to wait for it to come to me. You got to wait, wait, wait for it to come to you. All right. Santa Teresa needs to repair. Why is this 7%? I, I filtered by damage. That is not... Okay, whatever. I can't ask for one, Brown. As far as I can tell. Oh, I can. Right here. Okay. Push the government to end hostility. Sure. I didn't realize the button was there. Good call. I'm tired of this war game. Would you please just give me peace? <laughs> no. We're going to fight a battle. Oh, okay. Peace signed between Spain and the United States. At your intervention, a peace treaty was eventually signed with the United States. Peace treaty effect on the next windows. Plus five naval prestige, minus five unrest. I don't want any of their warships. Their warships were trash. It looks like we get a certain amount of money. Puerto Rico is worth 142 million. Okay. So I guess there's a monetary value. So we can take Puerto Rico. But then we can't afford Panama. Lame. So we could take... The Alaska, we could take Alaska. What do I want to do with Alaska? Otherwise, Panama is worth 74 million, but so I could do uh, Puerto Rico for sure. Like, do I want to do anything with these ships? The funny thing is like with 69 million, look at that. We could probably take like half their fleet. Do I want Panama for the canal? Does It doesn't exist yet, does it? Hmm. 
Well, I don't have any reason to do anything with the battle. Like, it doesn't give me any info about the battleships. Aren't they terrible battleships? All I'd, I'd be doing them a favor. I guess we'll just offer to take Puerto Rico and propose that. If you're saying that you don't want to run up right to the limit because they might not accept, let's propose Puerto Rico. What? The United States has to pay the following reparations. No provinces received. No ships received. What the fuck? What kind of bullshit is that? A white damn piece? Oh, yay. I have $500 million. Just what I want. Fuck you, game. I get not getting everything you want, but then the peace treaty shouldn't be signed. Like, that's a stupid-ass design. It should be like, oh, no, the U.S. won't agree. Peace treaty breaks down. They, they, uh, obnoxious, Ben. It's obnoxious. But good to see you. It's obnoxious, and yet I'm still playing it a bunch. I, I don't, what does that mean? I don't know. So we invaded Puerto Rico. We kept the supply lines open. We invaded Puerto Rico, but the invasion failed. They had a $200 million reparation penalty or whatever. And so we said, hey, we want that. Tr we want we want Puerto Rico instead. That's $140 million. It leaves us a buffer of $60 million. We're not going to ask for any of your ships. I just want Puerto Rico. That failed. And yet somehow the game still said, peace treaty. What kind of bullshit is that? What am I going to do with $500 million? I can't even spend all my money. Arr! Angry. All right, let's move all those ships to Cadiz. these guys to whatever that port is let's get all of our ships out of the uh out of the ocean i guess we should have just taken their battleships from them so we could at least i don't know deny them maybe we would have gotten something you know we could if i had known i was gonna get nothing then yeah maybe i would have tried to buy alaska All of our ships are repairing here, or a bunch of them are. Okay. All right, we got to send these guys back to the Philippines. You guys didn't do anything in the war. There was no raiding off the American West Coast. There was no battles off the American West Coast. How do we fight that battle? How do we fight that war so successfully and get Jack Diddley out of it, huh? Go after Italy, wrong time to provoke Spain. Yeah, I mean, Italy at least has some bases on uh, on Sardinia that we could take. Or maybe even Sicily. Like, that feels... I would love to fight the Ottoman Empire. Like, they seem to exist in the game just for the sake of existing. It doesn't seem like you can actually fight them. Anyway, what's our, our finances are probably a mess right now. Negative 27 million monthly balance. Well, I got to get my ships back. Our, our fleet is not. Let's do this. Um, the CLs that are not the Isle de Tortuga class are going to get scrapped. But I can't scrap the ships at sea. I gotta wait for him to come back. I think all the ships in port are the Isle de Tortuga. Oh my god, I hate this UI. The stupid pop-ups are terrible. It is mind-blowingly frustratingly bad. Just le like 
hi, we're just going to take up the whole screen. And it's not going to fade away either. Uh, all right. Let's get those ships back in port. We're going to burn all the reparations they gave us and just getting our ships back to goddamn port. I can't, and yes. Everybody's provoking us directly, huh? Austria-Hungary's attack in Serbia caused a major disturbance in the force. Russia, negative 65. Who the fuck's fighting in Iceland? What's going on? Is Iceland trying to fight for its independence against Denmark? Uh, meanwhile, what's the Spanish Empire situation? So the U.S. is neutral with us. Maybe they won't provoke us so aggressively after getting their skull stomped. And I should have just taken their ships then and scrapped them. Yeah, it has a lot of the same problems that Rule the Waves has been, to be honest. But it, it, also, it has its own problems. It does look pretty in battles. That's kind of cool. Um... Our people are happy, I guess. Our naval prestige is damn good. We should just start provoking Italy until we get a war. The U.S. is laying down a bunch of new battleships. Yeah, of course the blockade ends. The war ended. We couldn't still be blockading them, right? Holy shit. Serbia pushed back the Austro-Hungarians offensive against Serbia. 52,000 casualties for... Austria-Hungary, 3,100 for Serbia. Konrad von Hotzendorf must be in charge. All right, are you guys heading back to back to your damn ports? You guys still repairing these guys? No? Okay, well, let's just wait for everybody to get back. Apparently, these guys are not heading back yet. Did we complete our new dockyards, or are they still being constructed? 80% of the way to 24,000 ton shipyards. We are going to build a bunch of new ships. We're going to build a new fleet, boys. We're going to design some new battleships. We're going to design some new cruisers. We're going to take advantage of some of the research and whatever that was done during the war. Three-inch guns, Mark II. I don't generally use three-inch guns, but it might be worth looking into. Submarine experiments, advanced periscopes, 81%. Uh, hull protection, gun control station, captain ship towers. If we're going to like design a bunch of this new stuff, we probably should like, if we're going to do some new ships. We should get some of these R&D items. On. Fishmonger, thanks for the follow. Dap, thanks for the follow. C, thank, thank you for the follow. A lot of the issues seem fixable. Maybe, Hauser, but they've been, quote, fixing them for the last two years. This game was in early access for two years. They kicked it out the door, probably because the publisher said, well, you know, it's time. And uh, I'm pretty sure all updates and support will end in June. So I don't think this game's ever getting fixed. They've said at least six months of support. I'm sure if it sells very, very well, they would keep supporting it. But my hunch is that... Uh, my hunch is that the publisher basically said you've sunk too much time and money into the game because it's been it was in early access for two years. The company that was making the game uh, merged or got bought out by a larger company that focuses on like games as a service. Hey, Chinese Revolution. Okay. Libya defeated the Ottoman Empire. Are you guys going to get back to port ever? I don't know, Hauser. I mean, I have no inside information. I'm just saying that I think a lot of people have been frustrated about the development of this game and how long it took and how, like, they pushed the game out before it was ready. They kept saying features were ready or fixed. They released the campaign in an absolutely atrocious state. Like there's just, they've kind of got a history of not, of basically disappointing expectations in this, for this game. 
So I don't have a ton of optimism because I don't think there's been, they haven't, there hasn't been a reason for optimism. Ranking is not important. They've made improvements in the last year for sure, but it just feels like sort of a constant two step every two steps forward, two steps back. I don't know. Most of the folks I know who have been playing the game for a while have, have kind of grown, grown burned out by it, if you will. All right. So let's repair our ships that are in port, right? Can we can we do that yet, or are too many of them still in transit? Or maybe they just auto repair when they come into port. Cool. Okay, those guys are in port now too. Burning through my cash like crazy, yeah. Maximum seven thousand crew command in the task force. I think that's new. Time to fight a war with Italy. Yeah, I mean, we could. Although, uh, France is also trying to provoke us. Uh, all right. So what's the uh, fleet repair status look like right now? Also, don't, aren't we? Don't we have a bunch of ships that are suspended? Or we got all those underway? Guess we got all those underway. Um... Most of our ships have returned to port. So let's do this. We're going to keep the Iron Priest Torpedo Boat class. This game would be so much better if they just fixed the UI. Oh my god, I can't even... All right. Iron Priest class will keep... Is that all we have? What? Uh, so let's go Torpedo Boats. Let's take a look here. Scrap, 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 scrap. And scrap. Okay. So Iron Priest class, I think, is all that we have left in our torpedo boats. It is. Good. I'm still pretty happy with that class of torpedo boats, too. I don't know that I'd repair it instantly or replace it instantly. Meanwhile, we've got these... Pampernal class light cruisers. We're just going to scrap all of those too. Which is actually a considerable number. Some of them are still at sea. Be cool if you got money for uh I thought they said Q1 mag. But I could be wrong. Q1's almost over. Um, okay, so the Pampernel class are scrapped. Are the Draga, I can't remember. The Rapido class are the good ones, right? Or maybe it's the Dragon. Is it? No, it's the Dragas. The Dragas are the good ones. These guys are the absolute bonkers ass backwards ones, right? With like the huge ass turret on the rear. Thank you for the sub at. Appreciate it. Yeah, these are the stupid AI design. We're going to put a turret that can't shoot at anything. It's blocked by the turrets behind it, and it can't rotate. Well, I guess, does it have side? I, I don't know. It's very, it's very bad. Very bad design. Uh... Appreciate the prime sub there at... L4, thank you for the follow. Fish, I think I think too as well. Only 13% overweight. It's fine. All right, so the Rapido is what needs to be scrapped. That's a lot of ships to scrap, I guess, but we're going to do it. We're going to rebuild the Navy. We're going to make the Navy great again. I can't see anything because this UI is trash. I'm sorry, guys. I should probably be a little less negative. Oh. At least we've got a shipyard uh, 
Maybe I shouldn't. Like, if we really want to go to war with Italy, I don't know if scrapping everything right before the war is a great idea. Why can I not scrap these guys? I can't do a multi-ship scrap. I've got to do them one at a time. Maybe you can only do it if they're in the same port. We'll leave the ship in Manila just because she's kind of out there. The Manila ships can can be bad. That's fine. We're probably not going to have to fight with them anyway. And uh, Also, you'd think if you were scrapping ships, it would give you a warning. Like, are you sure you want to scrap this ship? Because it's really easy to scrap ships. Also, it would be nice if it gave you some cash back for like the, the monetary value of the scrapping. All right, so scrapping all these ships gets us a lot closer to a balanced budget. Not quite. We're still negative 15 mil. Okay. Um, we still have a few Rapidos, but we kept the ones in Manila in service. These guys are all, like, what's their, their seasoned crews, too. Some of them are, anyway. What's, uh, what's left of our fleet after all of that? We still have, well, the Italians have 21 armored cruisers, 27 light cruisers, and 31 torpedo boats. They have no battleships. We, on the other hand, have two battleships. We've got 19 armored cruisers left, so they would actually outnumber us armored cruiser-wise, but we could remedy that pretty quickly with wartime funding. Ooh, we also got the new Chinese flag. We no longer have the uh, imperial flag. Um, okay, actually, this is an easy comparison because we're annexed to each other. Two battleships versus none. 19 CAs versus 21. Our CAs are mostly modern. 31 CLs versus 27. Our CLs are all modern. 51 TBs versus 31. Uh, yes. Increase tensions, please. Let's go to war, Italy, huh? You wanna you wanna fight us? Okay. Did I put all the ships that need to be repaired? Are they all being repaired? Some of them are still at sea, but all right. Negative 15 mil. So we basically spent all 200 million that the U.S. gave us, almost all of it, paying for our ships just to sail home. All right. Advanced subs. Sudan pushed back the Italian offensive. So Italy is fighting in Sudan. Your personal provocations are ignored by Italy. Iceland has defeated the rem remnants of Denmark. The revolution in Iceland will not be televised. Um, okay. Funny that the Italians got pushed back in Sudan because lull, Italian colonialism. Lull. All right. Finances, we're at 9 million. We're still building five ships. Are we really? Yeah, I guess we uh, we froze all those building building all of that. Barcelona. Okay. Those seals all get back to port. I think all the, okay, so the Iron Priests, all the Tortugas. Oh, we still have some ships at sea. Do I need to manually move them into port because it seems like they're not going anywhere. Ah, I'd like to insult Italy into a war, but it doesn't seem like the game wants to let me do that right now. A press conference journalist asks you a question about the foreign policy of the British government. The British government has an adventurous policy that often conflicts with our own interests. 
Britain's government is reasonable, contributing to the strengthening of relations between our countries. You diplomatically redirect the question to foreign policy. Uh, I don't have a problem with the British. I definitely don't want to fight the, the Great Britons. The Great Britons. Can we piss off Italy now? Increase tensions. Let me go to war. All right, repairing five ships. Let's go back to the fleet. God, what are these? Dragas. I just want to be clear that the Draga is the good one. The Rapido is the bad one. That one's still at sea? Oh, they haven't gone back into port in uh, Manila. Okay. Yeah, that info pop-up is really obnoxious. I, I complain about it every time I play, and I'm sure it gets annoying, but at the same time, like, it's so bad that I can't, I can't not complain. Also, apparently the China flag got replaced. I'm confused. There's two different flags. One of them looks like it's the KMT. Let's go to July. Building new ships. Mark 12 guns. Mark 12, or Mark 2 12 inch guns. Yes, so we get the, the second tier of 12 inchers. Relations with the Italian Empire have deteriorated after your personal provocations, which seem to have mixed effect on our own people. Negative 13 relations with Italy, negative 2 naval prestige, and plus 1 unrest. Oh, fuck all of you. I won that war against the U.S., and you guys are all like, well, we're not so sure about you provoking Italy. The hell do you guys know? Nothing. Nothing. I'm the genius here. <laughs> Okay. Whoa. War erupted between the British and German empires. AI wars. So the Spanish, negative 15 for the British, plus 12 for the Germans, I guess. I guess we like Germany. Um, Britain, Britain is negative 20 with France, 16 with... France is 16 with the Germans? What? Um, yeah, okay. A lot of stuff happens. France failed to get control of the Dominican Republic, so I guess there is no Monroe Doctrine these days. Um, all right, we'll just leave those ships that are out east. We are negative seven million for our monthly balance. We've still got some room there. We're also still building two ships. Our naval prestige is admired. Um. Now, we do want to design some new ships, as we originally said. Small guns, three-inch Mark IIs. Those could be useful secondaries on a battleship, I guess. Uh, control station. Let's drop the big guns, because we just did that. And the gun layout is what? Barbet Any Flash two. That seems like something I would want on a battleship. That'll be done in two months. Don't you, don't you interested in creating a new battleship class? Yes, I am SEO, but I also need to get my, uh, I need to figure out things. I probably need to, to put some ships into reserve. Huh. A lot of transport chaos. They're going to, they're going after the German empire overseas, which makes sense. 
Um, all right, so let's see about Italy. Increased tensions. We're at negative 70 already. And finances are still negative six. Do our how long do our crews stay seasoned? I don't think very long, apparently. There's well, these guys are seasoned. Uh, so these guys are green, so since they're green anyway. We might as well put them into a limited station, which will save us some money. And these guys are trained, seasoned, trained, limited. Uh, okay. Our armored cruisers, or at least the first four of them, are all... All the way up to the Draga are green, so we'll go ahead and put them in limited service, basically naval reserve. Everybody who's already green is getting sent to the reserve. The guys who are trained we will keep if we can afford... And this way, I hope to get the budget under control without sac Ooh, veterans without tr sacrificing my the quality in the fleet that we built up in that war versus the U.S. Because we did seem to have a pretty considerable advantage in the U.S. against the U.S. in terms of gunnery. So as long as I can keep those guys good. I will try to do it. Okay, regular. I think the Pamperno class would have been a lot of our regular troops also. Like all 20 of the new Isle de Tortuga classes are going to be green. Hey, Hawk. I'm trying to... It would be cool if I could filter by uh, crew quality. But I can't. Woulda, coulda, shoulda. This is tedious, but I think we're almost done with it. We gotta be almost done. It seems like this list never ends. Imagine if you had to click on each one of these individually for this. That would suck. Thank God you don't have to. All right, so we got a big chunk of our fleet into mothballs, despite the fact that I'm actively campaigning for war. Even so, our monthly budget is still negative 800,000. Seriously? All right, well, let's drop our transports down to just a one-to-one -one replacement, and that gets me at least into the black. We do have $300 million in leftover funding as well. Have you tried not being poor? Yeah, I've, uh, I've thought about it. I, I'm not sure it's a good strategy for me. You know, we would be less poor if we freaking weren't 
job to San Juan. The fuck. I don't even know why the U.S. has Puerto Rico in this game. That's bullshit. All right. Um, so I guess now we can design a new ship. Shall we do it? Or shall we save that for next stream? I hate to do this, <laughs> but I think we're going to save that for next stream, guys. We've been going for almost an hour here, so this is as good of a point as any to wrap things up. And this is actually where we wrapped up the stream as well. So we're going to do that now. I hope you guys are enjoying the series. That was the dumbest piece ever. That was the stupidest peace treaty ever and very frustrating. Um, yeah. Anyway, guys, that's going to do it for today's episode. Until next time, this is the Historical Gamer saying once again, thank you very much for watching. And until next time.